On December 22-24, 1989 a rare winter storm occurred on the southeastern coast of the United States. It even snowed down in central Florida during this storm and dropped over a foot in the Carolinas. The storm started out in the Gulf of Mexico, and on Friday afternoon was producing light snow in southeastern Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and the far western tip of the Florida Panhandle. The rest of Florida was just seeing plain old rain. As the sun set the snow stretched farther east to the South Carolina coast. For the most part the snow was light but some areas were seeing some moderate snowfall at times. By 10 p.m. the storm would pick up a bit and start producing a swath of moderate snow from the Florida Panhandle to the coast of South Carolina. With light snow north of that and moderate rain to the south. After midnight, it really started to crank over southeastern Georgia and the coast of the Carolinas. It continued to come down throughout the night along the southeastern coast with a pretty good swath of moderate snow falling from North Florida over to the outer banks of North Carolina. By morning it started to move farther off the coast, but as this happened rain changed over to snow in Jacksonville. The snow wouldn't last long in Jacksonville though as it would come to an end by mid-morning. Light snow was falling over the Gulf of Mexico and from Georgia up through far southeastern Virginia. During early afternoon the storm would ramp back up again in the Carolinas, with moderate snow falling along the coast. By 4 it was still falling along the coasts of North and South Carolina and starting to pile up. It would continue to fall steady throughout the evening in northeastern South Carolina and southern North Carolina. As Christmas Eve arrived, the storm would continue to produce snowfall over the area, with light to moderate snow falling in the eastern parts of the Carolinas. And here is some coverage on the storm from the Weather Channel from that night. Right, Mike, and first of all, we'll take a look at some of the impressive storm history snow reports throughout the Carolinas. And a storm, if you don't remember, originated back on Thursday evening and Friday, where we had like an inch of snow in Galveston and Houston, snowing in New Orleans and Southern and the home of Louisiana. And finally, the storm really started to generate some strength and energy. And here's where our most impressive snows are, three to six inches on a pretty good band along the Carolina coast, and it's going to be maybe 12 to 16 inches throughout Saturday morning, Sunday morning as the storm begins to wind up. Myrtle Beach already 12 inches, Wilmington 10 snowing very heavily, and it will continue to do so. Charleston, the list goes on and on. Jacksonville an inch, and let's not forget Sarasota eight-tenths of an inch of snowfall. It's hard to believe. By midday Saturday, that's all going to be moving out of the Florida and moving out of the Carolinas as well, as a big storm will be moving offshore. A little weak disturbance throughout the central plains, but really not much in the way of winter weather, except for the bitter cold temperatures. Minus tens in the Ohio Valley, zeros all the way through Baton Rouge and maybe San Antonio, Texas, warm up throughout most of uh, the west and record lows were very, very prominent on Friday, maybe 140 to 150 record lows, and throughout Saturday, notice it, pushing ever so slightly toward the southeast, and expect the records to be abundant once again on your Sunday morning along the eastern seaboard, penetrating all the way down to around Miami, Florida. As the night wore on, the snow would start to wind down in South Carolina, but would continue going strong in North Carolina where moderate snow was still falling through 7 a.m. Even by mid-morning areas of North Carolina were receiving moderate snowfall, but it would start to taper off in the afternoon and the snowstorm was finally over. But it left huge amounts of snow over areas that are not common to the wintry precipitation. Areas of southeastern Louisiana picked up light snowfall of less than an inch, but that is still really impressive considering the area hardly ever even sees snowflakes let alone accumulation. Areas like Jacksonville and Tallahassee saw an inch of snow accumulation and again I know it doesn't sound like much but for these areas it is. Savannah, Georgia saw between 3 and 5 inches of snow. And throughout much of the coast of the Carolinas they saw at least 5 inches or more, with the second shade of purple being 8 to 12 inches. Wilmington, North Carolina saw over 12 inches and to be exact they piled up a whopping 15 inches. Some areas to the west and northwest of Wilmington though saw over 18 inches, with some snowfall reports as high as 20 inches. 
All in all it was a historic storm that lined up with the holiday season to create a white Christmas in areas that see one only once in a lifetime. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed please consider leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button down below. Also leave a comment if you have another storm that you would like me to make a video on.